Hi, Nick Ellis, PC Computer Guy here, and I'm going to show you some tricks with your Android phone. Many, many of my customers have Android smartphones, but really don't take full advantage of a lot of the features that the phone can do. So I'm going to show you how to do these things to make your life a lot easier. Much of this revolves around some of the voice recognition abilities of the Android phones. Now, many of the Android phones have this search button right here. And if you are able to click on this search button and hold on it, you can launch the voice application. Um, this is done through something called voice actions, which you can also research a little bit more through YouTube if you want and find Google demonstrations. I find voice actions to be very, very useful. Um, it's not a new technology. It's actually been around for a couple years, but um, for me, it's incredibly useful for um, any of the things that I do on the phone. While I can use the touch screens pretty effectively, I definitely like the ability to enter things by voice when, um, when it's not convenient for me to text or type on the keyboard, I should say. So let's get started. First thing I wanna do is we can do the navigation by voice. Now you can navigate to an address or you can navigate to a place of business and it'll actually find it for you. So for example, um, I'm going to hit, hit this and I'm gonna hit by default. You may see this a lot of times, I just installed another application. Um, so I'm gonna hit use this action by default and do voice search so that it doesn't keep asking me every single time. Navigate to 4601 Bertrand Road, Indianapolis. And you see there it goes. I can hit the go button if I don't want to wait for that thing to spin around. It opens our navigation, pulls in the information, and starts directing us. I'm going to go ahead and exit the navigation for this. You can also navigate to businesses um, that you don't have the information stored in here for. For example, I'm going to use one of my favorite stores, Fry's Electronics. Navigate to Fry's Electronics in Fishers, Indiana. And there we go. Going to go ahead and hit the go button. It pulls in the information based off of a Google search, finds the address for Fry's Electronics. I don't have this stored in my phone, so it found this from the internet and now it's giving me directions how to get there. It can do the same thing for McDonald's or whatever else you would like any kind of registered business. Um, you can also call that business and it'll look up that information for you. So for example, call Fry's Electronics in Fishers. And you see, it looked up the phone number for me. Again, this is not a phone number that I have stored in my phone. It's something that the phone went out to the internet and found for me. And again, you can use the same thing for McDonald's or whatever other business you might wanna call. Notice that I'm speaking as clearly as possible, enunciating, and even putting slight pauses between my words. It's supposed to be able to understand you naturally speaking, but that just really doesn't work out too well a lot of the time. So if you want the best effectiveness, you can play around with it and you can see what works for you. But for me, it's best if I speak kind of staccato. And uh, even though it's slightly unnatural, it's definitely a lot better than having to type everything. You can also use this to send text messages. Um, so what you do, once again, hold down the search button, and then you would say send text message to, and then somebody that's in your address book. Now this function, you need to use somebody that's in your address book. Send text, send text message to Jewel Trackwell. What time will you be home tonight? Question mark. And there it is. All I have to do is hit the send button. You can reply to many things as well, um, whenever you see the keyboard, the keyboard usually has the microphone right next to it. So if I, for example, open up my browser here and I click this and um, here you have the microphone on this screen. Sometimes it'll be down in this area. So it just depends on what screen, but you should always have the microphone. Whenever you click on the microphone, you can enter things by voice as well. You can do Facebook status updates that, well as, that way as well. So if I go to Facebook, so on my Facebook, I can click status. And then right here for your status update, notice you have the microphone here. This is a test using the Android voice recognition. And there it is. And then I can just hit the post button. So there's a lot of usefulness that you can do. Um, uh, you can also do basic calculations if you would like. So two plus two. and it gives you two plus two equals four. I'm gonna hit the home button again, and we will do a, um, a uh, 
search for the weather. Weather in Indianapolis, Indiana. And then we get our five day forecast. You can also use this to call people that are in your address book or you can say the phone number. For example, I will try the phone number first. Dial 317-883-7224. Hit the dial button. And there you hear the phone ringing. You can also um, dial people that are in your address book. Call Jewel Trackwell, cell. Right here, this is a good example of this device, or when I gave the command, it wasn't quite sure exactly what I said, so it gave me a couple different options. So these right here are the options that it gave me, and I can select one of these options, and then it'll complete the command. It also starts, it, it practices learning your voice so that things usually get better as time goes on. So if I hit this, then it would complete the command. So those are just some of the features that you can do with Android Voice Actions. It's installed on just about every phone at this point in time. Like I said, it's about a couple years old, but I wanted to demonstrate this to you because I have a lot of customers that have Android smartphones that don't use these features that are very, very useful. Without a lot of these features, I would not be as happy of a camper. In fact, that was one of my requirements for buying the phone is that it had some good voice capabilities. Um, you go, so whenever you see the microphone, you can hit that to enter your voice information. You can use commands such as navigate to, send text to, call, or generic terms such as Indianapolis Colts. And then it takes you to the search results for the Indianapolis Colts. So all of these pieces of information should help you get better, more effective use out of your Android smartphone. Thank you for watching this tech tip. My name is Nick Ellis, PC Computer Guy, www.pccomputerguy.com for this and many other podcast videos and articles. You can also give me a call if you're in the Indianapolis area and need help with something yourself. My number is 317-883-7224. That's 883-7224. If you're not in the Indianapolis area, I can often do remote access that will help solve many of your problems. Once again, my number is 317-883-7224. And until next time.